हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ थाट्स एंड एजुकेशन ऑफ कॉलेज दुनिया आई एम एट माइका द स्कूल ऑफ आइडियाज अहमदाबाद टुडे आई एम विद डॉक्टर शैलेंद्र राज मेहता सर ही इज द प्रेजिडेंट एंड डायरेक्टर एट माइका बिफोर ज्वाइनिंग टू माइका ही इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एट और यूनिवर्सिटी वेयर ही ऑल्सो सर्व एज एक्टिंग वाइस चांसलर एंड द प्रोफेसर ऑफ स्टडी एंड प्रायर टू दैट He is the Vice Chancellor of Ahmedabad University. Welcome, sir. Welcome to the College Union Portal. So, moving down to the questionnaire section, sir. You have held a key position at Education Institute throughout your professional career. What are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector? The the wonderful thing about education is that every year there is a new crop. Har ek saal nayi bahar aati hai. So you are always young. You are always surrounded by youth. You are always surrounded by energy. you're surrounded by knowledge and creativity that keeps you young fresh active and energetic that's very informative sir my next question would be being the president of mica what is your philosophy of leadership how would you describe your leadership style the most important thing that we do is we help our students not just find jobs that is task number 2 or 3 or 4 the most important thing is what is it that they are passionate about and how do we find a way for them to express their passion so mica is where people come to find themselves they don't come here to find a job they come to find themselves that's very uh, in short answers <laughs> being the president how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for the marketing and administration of your institute one word impact we want to do only those things that have very significant impact so whether we design or redesign something the only thing that i have in mind is what kind of impact will it have on our students on society on the educational ecosystem on all our stakeholders and then it makes it very easy to prioritize so my next question the education system in india and the foreign countries are structured very differently in your experience what can an inbound student can gain from studying at your institute mica over the years we've had many exchange uh, students come to mica and uh, we of course benefit because they bring their unique perspectives and unique energy but i can tell you in talking to them uh, the thing that our foreign students are struck by is first of all the welcoming nature and the hospitality of of india so that really how everybody goes out of their way to make them feel comfortable that it's not like up i ho you know find your own way kuch puchna hai to puch lo aisa nahi you know people go go out of their way to make them feel comfortable so this aspect of indian culture is uh, universally liked and admired the second thing that they really understand which is something that you would not expect them uh, you know to see in their own countries is how a diverse and a democratic country like ours and that is fully reflected at mica you know with a variety of viewpoints a variety of uh, opinions a variety of ways of doing things how people give space to each other without necessarily trying to impose any views on anybody so seeing that and then the final thing is jugad you know they see how in spite of the fact that uh, so much doesn't work everything seems to work in the end so at one level seeing you know things being very uncertain but then working themselves selves out anyway so they learn patience at mica and they learn patience in india that's uh, very informative sir my next question would be about the curriculum of mica ensures how how mica ensures the best practice of the industry a couple of ways a uh, one we have five centers and we have four programs within our mba program four specializations every one of these centers and every one of these areas has uh, an academic advisory council and an industry advisory council so we have many industry advisory councils where uh, prominent industry leaders not just from india but from all over the world now because uh, zoom is so easy we can get inputs from other countries as well and advisors from other countries so they connect us uh to industry and that does two things right one they make sure that uh, our curriculum is aligned with their challenges and more importantly they give us their most important challenges to work upon okay 
any insights into how your institute could be more welcoming to the student of different uh, race and economic backgrounds? I think this is where MICA really excels. Uh, we have students from all parts of the country, uh, all kinds of backgrounds, all linguistic regions. Uh, our faculty are similarly diverse. No region of India uh, dominates MICA. Okay. MICA is really very nicely balanced. So as a result, uh, all our students, all our staff, all our faculty feel right at home because they will see uh, people like them, like themselves, uh, you know, at MICA. That's very uh, informative, sir. My next question, uh, what do you think your roles and responsibility to the Institute and, uh, and the students are? And what do you think Institute next priority over the 10 years, next 10 years? So, the biggest uh, responsibility that we have towards our students is to give them a space to express who they really are. So, students when they come to MICA, of course, do so many things academically, but they do so many things outside of academics, more than any other institution. MICA has student committees. We are, there are 19 formal committees and many informal ones. 19 committees. 19 committees. And they do, they manage different aspects of MICA. They manage MICA. So uh, there's a team that focuses on external publicity. There's a team that focuses on placement. There's a team that focuses on dramatics. There's a team that focuses on uh, putting on our winter festival, My Canvas, uh, it's called. Uh, there's a team that organizes um, literary and cultural activities and so on and so forth. Uh, there's, a, there's a team called SCAM, a uh, sports committee at MICA. Okay. The name is ironic, you know, <laughs> it's meant to be eye-catching. Not that there is a SCAM, but it's, uh, but it's, you know, the sports committee at MICA. So they organize all the sporting events and they take part in national and, you know, other competitions. And we have a very green campus, as you can see. So people are always out and about um, and uh, uh, it's because of, uh, so coming back to uh, what this all means, this means that it's not just academics, but it's through all of these other activities that they learn what they're capable of doing and not just learn about theory, but also about how to apply uh, that theory into activities. Because at the end of the day, planning a winter festival you know, where they may have a budget of 50 lakhs. Mm -hmm. That's not very different from running, a, you know, a product management department in, Indeed, uh, in a small company, for example. So that's what it is. These committees are small endeavors where they learn uh, about management by practicing management. And what's your priority for the next 10 years? The make sense of the world post-COVID and make sense of the world post the digitization process, you know, digital transformation is a reality. So if I were to summarize in two words, I would say the challenge of COVID and the challenge of digital transformation or rather digitization. Uh, so that is what uh, we focus on as we think about how to address the challenges of the next 10 years. Uh, so what would you like to people know about the Institute? They may not know yet. And what is the strength of MICA? The, the most important thing about MICA and MICANS is that uh, most other management schools, uh, at least in India, select students through CAT. In addition to CAT, we have our own exam called MICAT. Uh, and there we choose students not just for their logical ability or verbal ability, but their ability to be creative, to be collaborative, to be empathetic, to be team players. So as a result, uh, the people that you find at MICA or the graduates of MICA are people who can be both logical and creative, who can be left-brained and right-brained, who can function in a startup environment and who can also function in a very structured environment. So the ability to be ambidextrous is something that is unique to MICA. And I have not found this. I have lived and taught in many countries. Uh, I have studied and taught in many fine business schools around the world. I have never found this combination anywhere else. That's very informative, sir. Uh, on that note, my next question is, what, what are the some plans that you are currently 
designed for MICA International Affairs and for students. So uh, we have four immersions at MICA, of which international immersion was one. The other three are rural, uh, entrepreneurial and urban, or my impact as it's called. So basically, uh, these are avenues through which uh, we expose MICAs to different activities in the world, right? So it's not just, again, they, they find a way through these immersions to apply what they have learned in different environments. So international immersion, unfortunately, was put on hold because of COVID. Uh, but prior to that, we had partnered with some of the leading universities in the United States uh, to create a very meaningful immersion for our students there. And uh, post-COVID now, as we come out, I think next year, I think we would probably take it to the next level. That's very informative. On that note, sir, uh, my ne ne next and last question, any suggestion would you like to give to the current youth and aspiring student for MICA? <coughs> come to MICA to find yourself. There are lots of people, there are lots of institutions which will educate you. But nobody will help you find yourself in quite the way that MICA will. Because A, MICA is very open. MICA is very different because of the combination of the left brain and the right brain the creativity and the logic part, and the fact that we will give you so much of responsibility here through our committees, through our self-management here. Our students have a huge role in self-governance. They manage a lot of the affairs of the institution. They take care of, the lot of, uh, they take care of a lot of uh, disciplinary committees, etc. So faculty don't have to get involved as much. So uh, you will find unique, a unique combination of freedom and creativity and structure at the same time. Thank you, sir. Thank you for this uh, informative session with College Dunia. So I'm here at MICA in Thoughts and Education episodes of College Dunia. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you for coming to our Thank hotel, sir. Thank you. Thank you.